Hi guys, I'm Lady, the Painted Lady, and today we're going to be making another digital art piece. I'm going to be showing you guys a tactic that I use when drawing water. It's super easy, super simple, and very beginner level. I'm gonna be using my iPad today, but you can use whatever you want. You can use acrylic paints, crayons, markers, paper and pencil. Uh, I'm just gonna be using uh, my iPad today because that's what I prefer to use but you can really use this technique on different mediums. So let's get messy. So to start off, I'm going to be choosing a darker color and I'm gonna keep it in like this teal blue, but I'm gonna definitely take down the shade a little bit. And this technique is very easy. It's just drawing a bunch of, a bunch of circular organic shapes over and over again, and then connecting them and continuing to add lines onto them. So I'll get started. So we're just gonna, it doesn't, the, the circles don't need to look any specific way. They just need to be kind of like flowy and organic. I'm gonna be using the uh, Studio Pen on this. It's my favorite pen to use. So I'll get started with this circle and then another one. And you're just gonna do this over and over and over again. And these can be different sizes. They can be connected, they can be unconnected. It's just, you know, whatever you think looks good. Really. And just making sure they're organic looking and just doing this process over and over and over again. There's nothing too crazy about it. So I'm just gonna keep putting these circles in here. Do another one right here. And connect them with some lines. and then adding more circles. All right, so we're finished with the first step. We have all of our shapes on there, all, the, all of them are connected. And now what we're going to do is at the intersections of all of them, so kind of the Y looking shapes, we're going to like fill them in a little bit. So I'll show you kind of that technique. So at any intersection that kind of looks like this one, we're gonna draw a line in there and you can color it in. I'm gonna fill it in. And we're just gonna do that at all the intersections. Any intersection that looks like this, we're just gonna fill it in like that. So we'll just do that process over and over again. And this is when it really starts to look more like the water. This is when that organicness or like the kind of the details that you add into it make it look less like lines and more like water. So you're just gonna do that, all the intersections. Oop, got a little line, a little straight line. All right, keep filling these in. And you can wait till afterwards, but also when you're going around, you're going to want to add different, uh, you know, different widths to like the lines, adding little details so it looks less like just straight lines and more wobbly like how water really would be because water is very like, it's moving so the lines aren't gonna be perfectly curvy, they're gonna be kind of like wavy looking. So you'll wanna add that around as well when you are filling in the corners. See, all right, and now you're kind of seeing how it's starting to become more water looking versus just like lines. It looks really cool. It just takes a little bit to fill them in, but nothing too tedious, I would say. Depending on the painting, I guess I should say. Or the illustration, I should say, not painting in this case. All right, so I've added all the little details in there. I've connected all the corners. And so now what we're going to do is if you uh, don't have, uh, if you're doing pencil and paper or you're doing uh, painting or you're doing, uh, you know, whatever medium that you're using that isn't digital, 
Um, you're just gonna repeat this process again on top of it, but you're gonna make the like you know lines different shapes, you know, go different ways. Um, but it'll be just right on top of it. But because I have an iPad, I'm going to duplicate this layer, lock it, make sure this is screen recording. Okay, lock it, and then you know move it to the side a little bit, just off to the side. And then go in with a lighter shade of blue and color it in. There we go. And then also add a background color of blue. I'm gonna go with like a, you know, like a medium between the two colors. So, all right. And then because we moved it, it's not gonna be completely to the edges on um, this, like, you know, the front side and the, the corner side. So we're gonna take these lines and connect them to the outside. So they look, so it looks complete. So we'll just do that real quick. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, and I'm gonna add some koi fish in the middle so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. And then I'm also gonna turn the opacity on this top layer down a little bit so we can kind of see through the fish. And yeah, it looks like they're swimming in the water and that uh, the water's moving and the uh, water below it is the shadow of the lines that are above it. It's super cool, super simple, and it really just like, brings the whole piece together. All right, guys, and that is how I like to illustrate. <laughs> Wait, where'd my pencil go? Okay, I'm back together. All right, guys, and that's how I like to illustrate water. Uh, it was super fun making this with you guys today. It's super easy and simple for beginners uh, that wanna be drawing uh, water. I hope you guys are able to use this in your pieces. And yeah, it's super easy, super simple, and very beginner. Uh, anyone can do it. So I hope you guys take the skills that I've shown you today and are able to use them in your future pieces. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to take it one stroke at a time. Bye, guys.